I'm going to start things off by talking about a topic that I that was brought up during the, the last podcast that I did with Gaijin. I wanted to talk about something, and I'm going to be talking about it in a little bit of a generalistic tone, but in a tone that I believe makes a lot of sense. Now, an argument that is usually brought back whenever we engage in conversation about monetization is the concept that video games are more expensive than ever to produce. Everybody's like, video games are so much more expensive now. They're way more expensive now. And I always like to push back whenever that argument gets brought up. And there are very specific reasons as to why I always push back on that topic. Now, it is important to mention that, yes, in a way, video games do cost more. But in a big part, that is because of a choice on the part of the publishers, producers, whatever. They themselves decide that they want to risk more and uh you know make a more expensive video game in a lot of ways this is just the fact of life they said hey we're gonna make a big blockbuster 4k assets 8k assets like all of this nonsensical stuff we're gonna like boom go crazy go ham make like the best looking game ever a lot of times this is what you know producers publishers and shit like that this is what they do and th there is a reason behind that because you know visuals do sell but my particular pushback on this is twofold number one there are now better tools to create video games than there have ever been and you know there's no way that you're going to convince me otherwise because people are always like well it's not exactly like that blah, blah, blah. okay listen i'm gonna give you a very simple example that relates to the industry that i personally work in okay making videos is a million times well not a million times but it is much easier now than it was 10 years ago creating videos as well as uploading videos as well as meta tagging videos as well as making thumbnails as well as even recording videos as well as live streaming videos all of this is easier than it was 10 years ago by a lot now you can make a lot of arguments about that you can say well Rurikan, that's because you've invested in more powerful computers that's because you've spent money in more expensive software that's because you've done this you've done that you've done the other you can come up with a different a million different things you can say Rurikan, i mean now i have three screens i have three screens in front of me you're using three screens Maybe 10 years ago, you weren't using three screens. No, 10 years ago, I was using a single screen. And yes, that helps with me editing my videos and doing all of these things. Well, Rurikan, you have two computers now. 10 years ago, you didn't have two computers. You're correct. I've purchased another computer to handle all of the streaming, which makes it much easier for me to live stream things. I put all of the streaming software in one computer. I put all of the other software in another computer. And boom, Bob's your uncle. And things are now easier for me. Yes. Why is that, though? Why is it that things are easier for me now than they were 10 years ago? It's because I didn't grab all of the money that I've made over the years from creating content and bought an expensive sports car. No, I didn't do that. I reinvested that money into better hardware, into things that now allow me to do what I need to do with more quality and more efficiency and, you know, and other things like right now I can record videos in 4k I can record videos in 1440p at 60 frames per second 10 years ago I couldn't do that so I can do videos better than I have ever done before I have a better webcam has more quality I could have an even better one if I wanted to but I don't consider that to be particularly important see that is the thing I could have one of those big fucking Sony cameras that everybody uses that like captures my face in 4k but it's like what kind of value is that really going to bring to you? Like you get to see my ugly mug with more definition. Is that really a big deal? No, it's not. So guess what I invested? I invested in this fucking juicy microphone. This microphone is like 200 euro, actually more than 200 euro. Why is that? Because the quality of the sound when I'm speaking is more important than you getting to watch all of the wrinkles in my ugly face. That is fundamentally me choosing the investments that are more relevant to my craft. And now you guys are like, okay, Rurikan, how does this relate to video games in any way? It is because, like I've said, if you take into consideration that pretty much everything that we do on computers nowadays, I give you the example of video editing, pretty much everything we do on computers nowadays is way easier now than it was 10 years ago. Are you going to try to make the argument to me that developing video games is somehow harder? 
Because I would have to disagree, considering that tools evolve, tools become better. And like you have Unreal Engine, like, I don't know, what are we at? Like five, Unreal Engine 5. Isn't that like super amazing and easier to code for than, than it was before? I'll argue yes. And now you can make the argument, well, not everybody does those investments. Like, well, how is this my problem? How is it my problem that a publisher chooses to grab all the money that they make from a successful video game and give it away to investors or give it away to their upper management as opposed to actually investing in their developers, investing in the training of their developers. Like I trained myself to learn how to use software in a more efficient way. I asked friends for help as to how I can learn to do things differently, right? I hustled. I do whatever I have to do to make sure that I am able to do my craft at the best that I possibly can. It is the job of the companies that produce these video games to ensure that the people that they have working for them can also do their job at the best that they possibly can. They have to invest in the training of their developers. They have to invest in better hardware for the developers. They have to invest in better software for the developers. And if they don't do that... R.I.P. Stadia, we hardly knew ye. For good reason. <laughs> Cincy Boiler 41, thank you very much for being gross and us for 25 months. Tip of the hat. Appreciate the support. Thank you. And if you don't do that, if you don't invest into your developers, if you don't invest into better hardware for them, better software for them, better training so that they can do their job better, how is this somehow my fault? It is not my fault. Therefore, if video games are now more expensive than ever to produce, that is on you. The publishers, the producers, whoever the fuck makes those kinds of decisions, that is your decision, and I don't want to have to take the cost for it. No excuses. So whenever somebody comes to me with the argument, Rurikon video games are more expensive to produce now than ever, my only question is like, why? Why is that? Please explain. Well, it's the inflation. How can we talk about the, the better software, the, the, the improvements that we've seen in the industry over the years? The simple fact that there are now more indie developers on the scene than pretty much ever producing video games in much smaller teams than ever. Can we talk about that? No, we, nobody wants to talk about that. Everybody's just like, no, it's more expensive. So that's why they have to come up with more and more microtransactions and more and more of this and more and more of that. But that's not the end of my point. There's another point. The video game industry has seen amazing growth over the years like i've said multiple times this industry is now bigger than hollywood like if we actually switch over to this scene that i have open right here crap my face is in the way we can do it like this uh if you look at this scene over here this is a graph that shows you the amount of uh video gamers in billions okay this isn't even from 10 years ago in 2015 2.03 billion gamers 2016 2.17, 2.33, 2.49, 2.64, 2.81. In 2021, 2.96. 2022, the current year, 3 billion people. 3 billion. You, know, you want to know how much 3 billion people is? Like, let me put this into a perspective. How many people on Earth right now? 7.7. 53 billion in 2020 just in 2020 not even 2022 so let's let's round that up to 8 billion people okay 8 billion people you're talking about almost half of the people on this earth are projected to be playing video games in 2024 this is this is a projection obviously right almost half of the people of the world are going to be playing video games in 2024 just to put that into perspective out there, what is that? What is it? What exactly does this mean, there, you guys? My point. Well, work on. What the hell does that mean? It means that there is a much bigger audience for video games out there than ever before, and you can achieve higher profits than you've ever could before because your consumer base is much larger. So this is my point. There are better tools. There are more people. There are now more indie developers in the industry than ever before. Explain these things to me if supposedly video games are more expensive now than ever. The reason video games are more expensive now than ever to produce for a lot of companies is because they did not invest 
in their developers. The developers have had to gone for themselves out into the market, try to figure out how to develop things better, how to develop things more, uh, more efficiently. And the worst part is that the people who are, you know, telling you, oh my God, video games are so much more expensive now, you wouldn't understand. And then the, the people that start echoing that sentiment, a lot of these people, they're not really thinking about these additional costs that could have been prevented had these companies actually invested in maintaining their workforce updated to the current world conditions. And this is something that I've experienced all the way back during my education, okay? Listen, when I was in college, the, this is a, a thing that I will never forget, okay? When I was in college, I had to go in and I had to study C-sharp for a test. You want to know where I went to study C-sharp? Guess what? At the Microsoft website. You go to the Microsoft website. You want to study C-sharp? You want to know the theoreticals of C-sharp? How certain things work? How variables work? Like all of these different programming shit. You want to know how that works? You go to the Microsoft website. Obviously, right? It's a Microsoft programming language. Why wouldn't you go there learning? So I go there and I study for my test and I get there and I fail the test. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on? So I go and I go see the teacher. And you know what that motherfucker pulls out? That motherfucker pulls out like a transparent sheet of paper with like, because it was a multiple choice test. He pulls out a transparent sheet of paper, puts it on top of the, of my test sheet. And he's like, yeah, you got these wrong. And I was like, I got these wrong. Yes, yes, you got these wrong. I was like, I literally studied this last night on the Microsoft website. I, I can assure you, the what you have written on this test is wrong. These answers are wrong. And he's like, no, the, the clear sheet of paper says it's like this. And I'm like, well, I, I'd like you to explain it to me. He gets up and he leaves. Motherfucker gets up and leaves. All right? I'm just like, excuse me. Like, what the fuck? See, why is education so bad in my country? Because nobody fucking invests in it. There's no investment. Not just in my country. Education is bad all, all throughout the world. And the reasoning is because there's no investment in education. Nobody is staying up to date with what they should be teaching. Like, motherfucker, you're teaching me C sharp. Not from fucking five years ago. It's not from five years ago. I want to learn C-sharp according to the norms of today so that I can be ready for the work market tomorrow. And in my opinion, the gaming industry suffers from exactly the same problem. Upper management, when it comes to video games, they go like, okay, what were the profits from our latest video game? Oh, uh, 10 billion, huh? I mean, okay, billions may be too much, but let's say, okay, we know like 20 million, 50 million, like whatever the fuck, like profits. So after you, you cover like all of the expenses, like just clean profits, 50 million, right? Okay, that'll be um, 30 million for the investors and 20 million for us in upper management, or maybe, you know, 40 million to the investments, uh, to the investors, 10 million to the upper management. Guess who never sees that fucking money? the people that are actually developing your video game. Because let me ask you something, okay? Let me let me ask you something. Let's take a look at one of these video games that has come out that has a bunch of like microtransactions and shit like that, right? Let's let's look at Diablo Immortal. Let's look at Diablo Immortal. Diablo Immortal has made over a hundred million by now. A hundred million. Now I want you to answer me how much of that money has gone back into developers back into the education of developers, invested into better hardware for developers, invested into better software for the... How much of that money has gone to these three things? Oh, nothing. Oh, none. Oh. So tell me exactly why you want to argue with me about how video games are more expensive now than they've ever been. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. All these arguments are meaningless as long as you don't actually do full maths on it. Without it, it's just belief in both ways. You're just pushing the arguments that goes your way and say it's enough to counter the rest. You don't know. That maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to put a list of things. Well, if you if you actually read like the articles that have come out from people like Jason Schreier and shit like that, 
and other people that are actually in the know, people that, you know, they get information from people that are inside the industry, most of those articles reinforce what I've just said. Meanwhile, I don't see a whole lot of articles that talk about like, oh, Activision has just invested this amount into um, training for the developers. You don't see a lot of arguments like that. Ubisoft has just invested this amount into more training for their developers. The information that is out there, the information that is out there supports my arguments. And the information about what I just said about uh, the bigger the the bigger customer base, that is fact. You you can see it right here. That's that is the growing customer base from 2015 projected all the way up to 2024. That one right there is just straight up facts. So it's just like, look, it's as simple as this. They want to charge you more because they can. That's it. That's just it. That, that, there's no if it, because like, look, Elden Ring, Elden Ring can make fucking record breaking profits selling at $60 as a, you know, current generation game and they can make record profits and they can be in the clear and they're not going to nickel and dime your ass. It is that simple. CD Projekt Red, same thing. That simple. Why is it that some games can do it just fine, whereas other, other games are always like, oh, but the cost, the cost, it's all about the cost. It's like, listen, if you want to charge $70 and get rid of these fucking microtransactions, okay, go right ahead. We can, we can take that argument a little bit. The problem is that these companies are going to charge you $70 and still nickel and dime you for microtransactions, which is bullshit. It's completely fundamentally an absolute bullshit and the fact that people fall for it makes me sad it is what it is because like i said at the start katamai i said i even said it listen i believe you i believe that video games are more expensive to develop but i want to get to the root cause as to why that is why is it that video games are more expensive to develop now because you didn't do your job appropriately because I can assure you, me producing videos right now is not more expensive now than it was 10 years ago. It costs me about the same. Actually, it costs me less because I've optimized the process. So it's like, why is it that you motherfuckers can't appear to do the same in the gaming industry? Invest, learn new techniques, learn how to utilize the new engines, stop this nonsense. Why are there so many video games in fucking development hell? That's all I'm saying. It's just something that frustrates me when people, because a lot of people, they'll just say, of course it's more expensive now. And it's like, okay, well, let's talk about it. Let's engage with it. Explain to me why. Show me why. Why is it that all of these companies can tell you, oh, it's just more expensive to make video games now than it's ever been before, but they never want to show you. There's no records there's nothing that there's never a company that's like okay let me explain to you why here's how we did video games five ten years ago here's how we do them now here's why it's more expensive nobody is doing that work do that work show me prove me wrong until then it's like it's you against me and i don't believe you